This podcast is brought to you by Mapper Forward's new Patreon community, the Global Coffee Think Tank. Check the show notes or head to patreon.com forward slash Mapper Forward to find out how you can become a member today. Welcome to the next episode of the Daily Coffee Pro in our series with Diego Barreona. This is episode four of a five part series. And we today are talking about the next generation of producers, which I am very excited about because as we head into unique times, we need fresh, uh, we need a fresh perspective on things. And I, and I have a lot of respect for, as I said, the the shoulders of the giants that you rest your feet upon, and and the producers that have got us to where we are. But I think with financial systems changing and with weather patterns changing and with logistics changing and perhaps a new world order happening, um, it's going to require new perspectives of the ways that we do things. So Diego, where do you see the next generation of coffee producers taking things? Oof. Love this question. Um, I would say that we have a, um, a wider perspective. I think we have really open to trying new things. We're open to to test new things out. We're not stuck with the always. And like, this is how it is. It's gonna be. This will be back. No, like we are. We are really in tune with uh, with our, our our surroundings, our 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 global happenings. So I feel like we are differently. I would say that we are more aware of how things are going on globally, and we are trying to find ways how to uh, uh, adapt them with getting out of the old ways. Something that I see is a historic issue that never gets talked enough about is the amount of debt that producers carry. Yeah. Do you think that this next generation is going to be less tolerant of the burden that they need to carry to make coffee a reality for the consuming end. We we have to, like I was saying that we, uh, I said on the last episode, we have to pay for the broken dishes, and um, yeah, and, 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 and get new ones. And I will say we have to start from zero again. That, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm I'm trying to start from zero again, slowly. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I was saying, simple. Uh, trying to do things in more like in a simple way, unique way without sacrificing for quality um but but yeah because historically i'm i'm really not sure that most of the consuming end of the supply chain the coffee supply chain are aware of the burden that producers have to carry with regards to their agricultural debts if let's say they do get coffee leaf rust and they have to cut their trees down or they have to sacrifice the Mm. the harvest this year they still have to buy the fertilizers and and fumigate and they still have to feed their families and they still have to pay their staff. And if they have no harvest, they have no income coming in unless they've diversified their crop. Mm -hmm. And so what I wonder is previous generations from what I've witnessed and the conversations I've had with them, they had this perspective of well this is just what farming is for anyone listening not watching diego shaking his head very quickly he was like no 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 so and and this is where i feel like the next generation is going to be and correct me if i'm wrong less tolerant of having yeah. to carry that burden just so the consuming end can have the coffee that they want i have this feeling as though this new generation is going to say, well, if you want coffee, we know how to grow it. Mm -hmm. We have the land to grow it, but you will Mm -hmm. pay for it. Do you think that's a reality? Yeah. I feel like we have to take advantage of our position. I feel like we uh, have have taken for granted, to be honest. That's what I kind of realized. We have a lot of power. Yeah. But we don't really uh, use it that much. And, And why? I really don't know why right now. But I feel like that's what we have been like forced to 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 follow. But I feel like we could change the, the dynamics a little bit. Yeah, it's it's a somebody said uh, in a podcast. 
for sure it was either a Rogan podcast or Alex Friedman podcast. I know you and I both listen to a lot of the same podcasts, but they were saying that this is the first time in history where our father's generation, the skills that they learnt are not transferable to us. Mm -mm. We live in very different technological times. And so the skills that we inherit aren't going to help us as much as it helps their generation, but also the attitudes, right? Yeah, and that's that's cool because I, I feel like my father left me like this big, big handbook. Yeah. But uh, years go by, I'm trying to read through it, but like I'm pretty sure that uh, there are things there that they're not relatable anymore. I need to fill in for, for those gaps and try to see what really works for me and for, for business with the farm right now, for what's happening right now. So... I guess we have to, younger generation have to find and fill in those gaps, which what do we have to do, you know? And and do you feel that you guys are leaning more easily into this idea of connection and working together? Yes, thank you for saying that. Yeah, I uh, feel like in here, my father and previous year has just been like this like rivalry, this really like, mm. kind of like a, sorry, a bullshit. It's a lot of vultures. Like people don't really want the the best out of you. Like I'm gonna say it because I, I have to say it. Uh, when my father passed away, uh, I've heard many people talking bad about me, saying that I, w- I was not gonna be able to to pull through, to to make it through. And I'm like, why? You don't even know me. I didn't right. even try. So now I've I've connected with with younger producers here in Sobler, and that's really it's really cool that we get, we get to hang out, we get to talk, share ideas. So that's awesome. what we are doing differently now. We're having conversations. We're having like sharing, hey, uh, how do you do this? They work out for you. Uh, you know, sharing insights because coffee is such a big, 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 big market. So much man. Why are we fighting for 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 it? You know, it's it's a fool who bets different. against you, my friend. It really yeah. is a, a fool that bets against yeah. you. I mean, yeah. if you don't understand what I'm talking about, go check out his Instagram, folks. You'll see that this man is not scared of a triathlon or a marathon <laughs> or doing hard shit. Like, he will fuck some shit up. So, <laughs> no, 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 don't bet against this guy. But what I love about what you said is that this generation, this new generation of coffee producers is saying, look, we respect the past. We respect the people that came before us. But the the baggage that they're carrying I'm not going to take it from them. No. we got problems that we need to solve. Yeah. And we can't solve those problems making the same mistakes of the past. Mm. And so let's shortcut the problem solving by working together. Yeah. Um, I'm actually, that's the hope that I have for our industry. Yeah. Connectivity. Because... There is so much to be concerned about. Yeah. And this new generation of producers is what's making me super hopeful. There's no time to be jealous and, and to steal and to, you know, and to be vultures. Like, if you want to do it, fine. Do it. Do it. You will peril. It. Like with yeah, what's going exactly. on right now, you will peril. Exactly. So what we're going to do now is we are going to head into our next episode and we are going to talk about the future. As we talk about how hopeful it is, it's got some dark times ahead, but we're going to talk about some some things we're looking forward to and some things that we're concerned about. Let's do that. Okay. Peace, love, and peanut butter, friends. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks, friends. If you enjoyed this video, here's what you should check out next. Consider supporting Mapper Forward on Patreon and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave.